Hi, we are Bangkok Foundation team and we would like to uh, show how can we uh, bring the privacy to the smart contracts in a new way. So, uh, in the previous hackathon in Earth Waterloo, there is an announce about two main uh, uh, tasks and goals that we want to solve the blockchain community. The first one is scalability. So, we decided to show how we implement Plasma, Plasma protocol. And uh, it now is almost ready uh, for uh, production for 80%. So we are getting in touch with Vitalik Buterin to do it uh, second, right. Second okay, so now we are focused on this uh, uh, hackathon about privacy. Uh, so uh, we uh, took uh, the Stanford research about uh, how can we do transactions in Ethereum uh, completely privacy. For example, voting. Uh, everybody knows about that the smart contract is very use, uh, convenient to do voting. But for some reasons, uh, people, no, the previous slide, please. For some reasons, uh, people don't want to show uh, the. Let me the, the, you. Uh, Yep. I think you should use more of your time to tell us what you actually did this weekend. Okay. Yeah. We're already motivated okay. by the fact yeah, that yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It, will, it will be my okay, part. Let's do yeah. Uh, so basically, we're taking the Stanford research. Yes. There was no implementation of the verifier for Ethereum network, so we implemented it. We slightly modified their open source reference implementation in Java so we can pre generate some of the parameters and, and this make is it. All what you did this weekend, right? You yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, on. the prover was done. Oh, it's open source. Yeah, yeah. You know. So I did some pre setup. There was a token setup. There was a, a mixer contract setup. I deposited 10. My contract, my address. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Well, okay. pre setup. So this weekend yeah. you went and you used the Java source. You had to modify it somewhat. Then we written, tokens. yeah. So then we written the Ethereum contract that which verifies the proofs. Right. So yeah. you can actually do the transaction. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. for a demo, we I have written a mixer. Yeah. Uh, a most trivial example. Yeah, yeah. So I set up a token contract with 100 tokens for me. My contract is, uh, my address is Alice. I had 100. I deposited 10 to mm -hmm. the mixer. Yeah. Uh, then I submitted a proof. Well, close it. Uh, and now Dennis, his account is Bob here. He should submit a value and apply it in factor, which I right now can only tell him out of chain. But I mean, an extension is. Uh, possible, so you don't need to communicate off chain. Yeah. Of course, there, well, there is much to be done. You, you actually can... implemented this so that if you tell him the lining factor, yeah, so he can yeah, check the balance. Been... I actually sent him seven coins, not six, so he can say, uh, check if it just corresponds to the Pedersen commitment. Mm -hmm. So if the Pedersen commitment verifies, he just gets it true. Otherwise, he can just withdraw after it. Uh, just basically, it's the same function. You're just checking if it goes or not. You can actually withdraw. You can run the contract, and you can submit the transaction. You can just wait. Uh, so, and then yeah, you can just uh, uh, refresh and refresh and ring him by. Yeah, he should get seven. In general. But wait, I don't understand how. If you if Alice deposited ten ether into this one contract, yeah, yeah, Dennis withdraw reveals my other part. Of course, right now it does. Once it gets ten, once Bob open. withdraws it, yeah, as he withdraws it, he reveals so the chat. Everyone looks at the blockchain. We, we see split, that Alice deposited we split 10. This ten into something unknown. We Oh, yes. Yeah. So initially it was unknown. I submitted a commitment and a bulletproof, a range proof, which I, for a Pedersen commitment, the usual way for a confidential transaction by Greg Maxwell and Wimble Wimble, basically all the same. The main part is the range proof that you don't produce a negative output and yeah. don't make money out of the thin air. So the bulletproof is about the range proofs. Yeah. It's the part we done. And you can use. Denis, давай закончу. So uh, right now. The protocol is not done, so it's not completely done, it's just not enough time. Right now, I it just should verify to zero, so as Dennis reveals his seven as an output and just pulls it out from a contract, he re reveals my change one, to three. One it's extendable anyway to complete privacy, even if he reels, or we can mix and, once again. The very same protocol can be used for uh, voting. For example, you can treat these tokens initially deposited to contract as a number of votes, and then you split it uh, to the, uh, for example, two candidates. 
Bob and Alice. You send some amount to Bob and some amount to Alice. Nobody knows the exact amount of it. And uh, then Alice and Bob would gather this information and... Uh, yeah, it is much more technical. Initially, what we suggested, and as Waterloo, Vitalik told about well, scalability and privacy. We tackled the scalability with our Plasma implementation, which we have a workgroup, everything. And initially, we thought about some privacy for Plasma 2, so you can hide your outputs. And then I see this paper from Stanford, great linear size of the proofs, still linear uh, number of computation for verification, quite expensive, very expensive, I would even say. So the, the way um, Bob got the ETH out was the fact that he knew the blinding factor. So you told blinding him- Blinding factor and amount. I told him off-chain. You told him off-chain, the blinding factor, the amount. Otherwise, it's extendable, of course, to without interaction with off-chain, with uh, secret addresses and no commitment to zero but some other to other private key. The usual way is the uh, initial how gets the correct maximum written it. We just need to implement it. Now we have a primitives. Now we have operations in a private or in a BN256 curve. So we can just do it. Very expensive, but still well, possible. We're, yeah. We're Mm -hmm. guys, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for Otherwise we just did as much as we could. I couldn't <laughs> port it to JavaScript just Strong typization is very good for <laughs> these purposes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.